Hello everyone. Well, it's only January of 2018 and already we can look forward to three films this year which dramatise the effect that the Jehovah's Witness cult has on lives. So this video I'm focusing on one of the films which is The Children Act. It's starring Emma Thompson and Stanley Tucci and directed by actor's favourite Richard Eyre. It's based on the 2014 novel of the same name written by Ian McEwan. Probably the best adaptation of one of his books is the film Atonement. You may have seen that. So in this one you have a judge who is played by Emma Thompson and she's used to making very difficult decisions um, as this joins her. She's just had to make a decision on the case of a pair of conjoined twins and by decreeing that they're separated one of them will definitely die. So you're instantly in with a, a King Solomon like decision that she has to make. So this is difficult but she makes it and right on the back of that she has to face problems in her marriage um, plus a new case comes onto her desk and this is a case of a boy who's just coming up to 18. So he's still classed as a minor. Now he has leukemia. And he needs treatment, but he's a Jehovah's Witness. And as such, of course, he has restrictions on taking in blood, even for medical life-saving needs. So on this, she has to assess, assess his situation very quickly and adjudicate on it. But this film doesn't spend its entire time looking at this one decision and investigating it. No, far more happens. A decision is made, I'm not going to tell you what, decisions made and then there's a lot, a lot happens after that. Apparently the ending is a bit different to the novel, so we shall see. I am particularly a fan of Ian McEwan. One of my favourite books is On Chesil Beach, which is one of his. And that has also been adapted and filmed for release this year as well. So I shall look forward to that. In the review so far, everyone is praising Emma Thompson's performance and saying that she is really carrying the movie. They're also very much praising the young actor who's playing the young boy who is needing the transfusion. Here's what the cast say about his performance. The boy in question here is played by Theon Whitehead, who has made many, many waves um, after Dunkirk. Um, can you all talk about what it was like to work with him, especially because in this movie he has so many more lines than he did in Dunkirk? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Finn, I, I first met him. He said, I'm in this movie called Dunkirk. And I said, well, who's the star? And he said, I think I am. <laughs> and he's, he's um, very, very touching, very vulnerable, but quite confident and, and, and quite tough. He had leukemia in the, in the film. He, the, his character was suffering from leukemia. And I said, do you, how much do you know about leukemia? He said, oh, well, my mum just died of leukemia, so I know quite a lot. And it was, it's a measure of how dignified and self-possessed he is that you never knew. He, he, um, he's entirely professional and very, very, very touching and skillful actor. And he went off after doing this, having done Dunkirk, to do a little play called Natives in a small theatre, which I went to see. And he was absolutely fantastic on stage. Really? Yeah, we, actually Duncan came as well. It was... It was just so great to see him doing something that's not not film. You know, I think he's the real thing. Is the point I think that we yeah. wish, would wish to say about that because our industry will tend to take particularly people who are beautiful and swallow them up, spit them out. You know, just get them into something, make them famous, make them money. You know, and then they're over. And I don't think that's going to happen to Finn because he's just too original and strong, and he's he's good. 
and you can really, really develop into something great. The Children Act will have a limited theatre release in the USA come April. I don't know about worldwide, but keep a lookout. We can but hope that people seeing the film, discussing the film, will talk about the blood issue, the refusal of blood, the ethics behind it. I hope the film portrays everything accurately and I hope people feel watching it that the subject is done justice. I know that there are many in the XJW online community who have personally been very much affected by the blood issue and lost very close relatives because of it. So you really are given the ultimate say on this. So we can but hope it's a film to look out for. Good to know it's being kept in the public eye. Um, I will be re talking about the other films that are up, out for release this year and reviewing films as I'm able to watch them as well. Thanks ever so much for your time watching this video and engage in the conversation and thanks for your time. Bye for now.